Hello everyone, my name is Mark Pearson. I'm a professor of architecture here at College of DuPage. And I'd like to share with you a project that I've been working on for the past several months. So this project really started as a form of pandemic escapism. I found myself using drawing as a way to daydream, a way to activate my imagination. So in April, after being stuck at home for a few weeks, I picked up an old favorite book of mine, one that I've read many times, Italo Calvino's Invisible Cities. And I think as a, as a reaction to the kind of social isolation of being at home, I found myself yearning to travel, wanting to, to daydream about imaginary places. And in this book, the explorer Marco Polo describes 55 fictitious cities to the Emperor Kublai Khan. And these descriptions are often allegorical, but I tend to read the book in an almost literal way. For me, the book encourages, uh, encourages me to think about places, both real and imagined, and it's, it's kind of the closest thing I can find to traveling without really going anywhere. So this book's about imagined places, it's about daydream cities, cities of desire and memory. It's a book that encourages a, a kind of mental traveling through one's imagination. So as a response to the text, I started drawing a series of made-up cityscapes. And these drawings became a kind of scaleless, detailless uh, series of cities that were composed of vertical towers. But it was really the process of drawing these um, as an act of kind of active imagination that was important for me. The four city images imagine a composition of vertical towers, vertical masses on a horizon, and the drawings employ a kind of exaggerated perspective drawing technique that make them appear something less than real, something kind of between reality and a memory. So for this exhibit, I've paired each of the cityscape images with a quote from Calvino's text. And these cityscape drawings then led me to a kind of parallel project where through a series of watercolor drawings, I started to revisit and reimagine places that I had actually been to. And I've integrated these real memories along with these imagined cities uh, to form a kind of um, parallel in this exhibit. So these watercolor images are a sort of memory as well as an act of revisiting places, uh, which allowed me to also mentally travel in my own imagination. So what do I hope that a viewer will encounter in this work? I, I guess I hope that the work will encourage people to daydream, to imagine cities and places in their own minds, and perhaps provide a kind of mental escape from the day-to-day -day stresses that we're all facing during these challenging times. I find drawing the act of putting a pen or a brush to paper to be a very cathartic process and so I guess I hope that these images express a kind of expansion of our world during this time of physical and social isolation. I hope you enjoy the work.